With a significant crisis gripping every sector in our nation, public safety, local government, business, education, we need the best and brightest for the next victory in general elections. Tonight, we present the most experienced and dedicated Star, Star Team, Team United. United. 17 positions, 17 candidates. Jolene John, Dr. David Lee, Dr. Rudal Munila, Dave Tanku, Hamlin Jaila, Barry Podarat, Saddam Hussein, Anul Ram, Filiana Ramutasi, Nicholas Morris, Ravi Atiram, Khadija Ramin, Vantana Mohit, Shanti Budram, Eli Sakur, Kenwin Phillips, Sean Sobers, led by political leader Kamla Prasad Bisasa. From Hillview College in Tunapuna, this is Star Team United. Star team United. One team, one, team. one leader. One leader. Candidates of the winning star team for the United National Congress. Friends, supporters, members of the UNC, let me begin by sharing with those who are online that we are at Hillview College, and Hillview College is packed and overflowing. And and this is the East-West Corridor. The UNC is alive and well on the East-West Corridor. And we are ready to win. Win with the stars and win with Kamla Passad Bicessa. My friends, when I look across the crowd, I see people from Toko Sandy Grandi. Kumoto Manzanella. You can make some noise when you hear your name. No? I see a big posse from Arima. I see Aruka Maloney. I see Dabadi O'Mara. I see Lopino Bonner West. I see Tunapuna. I see Barataria San Juan. I see St. Augustine. And I see La Hoketa Talparo. So the East West Corridor is well represented. And tonight, it is all about the stars, as we welcome you to this rally for those who will vote on the 15th of June. Our first speaker is a man who is no stranger to Trinidad and Tobago. Anil Roberts was first elected to the House of Representatives in 2010 as the Member of Parliament for Dabadi O'Mara. And he was appointed by Kamla Passad Bisessa as the Minister of Sport and Youth Affairs. Under his tenure, Trinidad and Tobago secured the highest number of medals in the Olympics in our history in 2012. In 2010, he was appointed an opposition senator in the 12th Republican Parliament. Anil Roberts is a powerful voice of the United National Congress. Let us welcome Senator Anil Roberts. UNC family, no time for sticking. Time to get to into a good finger licking cocktail. June 15th, come out, support the stars, vote for the stars, all the stars, 1 to 17. June 15th, wherever you're living, come out. They ask for election, they get the election. But God is good. Today, the God Almighty, whatever you call God, sent a message to Trinidad and Tobago. As the devil was starting to have a press conference, God turned off the lights and showed darkness. It was darkness in the prime ministerial conference today, a total blackout. Because the PNM is a total blackout of ideas. No ideas, no policy, no development. Keith Rowley was in the dark. But as sure as night turns today, the sun will rise again, beginning in strength on Saturday. And when the sun is bright and high in the sky, 
and there is not a cloud, you are certain that at dusk you will see stars as clear as day in a clear sky. And on Saturday, June 15th, you will see the stars. Not stars who have star writers, not stars who believe in themselves, not stars who only want to walk because it's for them and they like themselves and watch themselves in the mirror. Today I see a man, I never see the man walking, talking, the amount of sweat, I just sweat all over this country. People call me to walk in Grandi, I walk, Maruga, I walk, Dago, I walk, St. Joseph, I walk, Tunapuna, I walk, all through the country, I walk. I see a man today stand up by a truck with a microphone by himself, talking to himself about himself. I say, but what is this? Where was all the work when you have to work for others? You can tell a good politician, a good person with a good heart, when they work for you, not when they're motivated by themselves. As soon as them don't get what they want, all of a sudden, they don't like Kamala. When Kamala leave them as an MP for 10 years, oh Lord, Kamala is the best. Kamala gives somebody else a chance. Kamala is the worst. She ain't no good. She team ain't no good. That is what we could do without. And on Saturday, we taking out the political scalpel and surgically removing the tumor, the cancerous tumor from the family of the United National Congress once and for all. On Tuesday, I had to sit in the Senate. Now, don't get me wrong. Eh? I'm proud to represent you all in the Senate. I am honored that the political leader chose me as one of our representatives in the Senate. I am proud of that. But I can't lie to all you. Yeah? I don't lie to all you. Yeah? Every time I bathe and I take out my nice suit and I dress up, looking good, put on some smell nice, and realize I go in, in the Senate to listen to all them dotish PNM and as guess sour. And on Tuesday, I guess sour. I had to listen to the Dwayne. And the Dwayne in his statement, he talked plenty nonsense. But there was one point that each and every one of you must leave here with. And you must hold it, understand it, live it, learn it. The Dwayne stood up and said, the PNM is such a great party. It never splinter. We all are that parties. They come and they go. They join together. They mash up and the PNM just keeps coming back. The PNM ran this country from 1956 to 1986. 30 unfettered years, he boasted. You know why and how they were able to do that? Because Dr. Eric Eustace Williams really was intelligent. Now he was selfish, but he had brain. He knew what it would be, what he needed to do to keep a party for him to stay in power, for his people to control the resources and for the rich to get richer and for the resources to stay in the hands of PNM. So he who was an expert in the transatlantic slave trade, when he got power, you would think a man who understands about slavery will say, I am coming to empower my black people. I am going to build schools for my black people. I am going to uphold the religions of Africa like Orisha and Baptist. I am going to encourage African art, African history, African information to uplift my black people. Did Williams do that? No. It was an Indian Prime Minister, Bastio Pande, that recognized Shouta Baptist. It was Kamala Pasad Bissessa that gave them land and school. It was Bastio Pande that brought back Kwame Toure here after PNM banned them. So know your history. Eric Williams created a situation that the opposition will always splinter. Any time a leader was coalescing the forces between 1956 and 1986, William would find the weakest link and offer them trinkets, offer them 30 pieces of silver to enrich themselves and sell out the masses. Whether it was great leaders, 
Bade Sagan Maraj, Lionel Sukaran, whoever it was, once William saw that they were coming to take the people to remove him and the PNM, he gave them things quietly and they mash up the whole thing. And so said, so done. All of a sudden now, the UNC is strong. One leader, one party, and we all of a sudden have little splinters coming out to say that they want to move forward. But when you look at it, and you look two years ago, you will see that certain MPs chosen by Kamala Prasad Bisesa supposed to represent you. When the PNM staff all the constituency for water, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 people know water. The PNM put a little blue tap and turn it on, and them fellas gone to take picture. When you see that, when you like picture more than people, you will get vote out on Saturday. Politics is not about picture. Politics is about hard work for people. So, when you see we splinter, the PNM through their cheating in the EBC and their boundaries and their changing of the boundaries and their gerrymandering, it only works when the people are divided. When the opposition forces, when people of good thought, good heart, good body, good mind, and good soul are together, the PNM will get a blowout like 1986 33 3 like in Tobago, 2020, 14-1. That is the licking like 2010, 29, 12. But when we get confused, and a few of us believe in these little selfish people who are looking for self-aggrandizement and big up and picture, then we are in danger of allowing the PNM an opportunity to remain. We all agree. Keith Rowley is the worst prime minister in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. Keith Rowley dabbled with witchcraft and obia in Lekoto. Our country is suffering with a cloud of evil and darkness over it. And only the sunshine led by Kamala Pasad Bisesa, the mother of the nation, could lift the darkness, darkness off of Trinidad and Tobago. These are the facts. So when Rowley say, Kamala arms skinny and she thin arms, yes, leave Kamala with she thin arm, she thin leg, she thin ankle, but she big strong heart, she powerful mind, leave she there. Because if politics was a weightlifting competition, UNC will still win. We will have the prime minister because it will be Sean Sobers. Stand up, Sean Sober. Shape the one muscle. Show muscle. There are no arms bigger than them two arms in the whole parliament. So whether it's brain, heart, passion, or muscle, UNC all the way. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for coming out. I want to thank you all for your support. I want to thank the soldiers for the work. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart, but I need to ask you, I need to beg you, I need to tell you that Saturday is a real important thing. Saturday is not no joke. Saturday is critical for my daughter who's nine years old and have to take SCA in two years. Saturday is critical. My daughter getting married next year, so next two years, I is a grandfather, hopefully God willing. So let me say, this is a serious election, and it begins on Saturday. Rowley took three days to get 11,000 votes. I am calling upon the UNC faithful to carry Kamala Passad Bisesa in one day from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. this Saturday, June 15, up to 14, 15,000 votes to show the support of the UNC. One party, one leader. And to the others on that team, not the ones who gallery themselves, but talk people and when they get lashed, they cry, not them. The ones below who may have been confused, who may have listened and not understood.
that they were listening to selfish people. When the flicking come on Saturday, when the dust is settled, when the star team has been returned to help Kamala Prasad Bissessa become the Prime Minister, I call upon all UNC members to unite to fight the devil, to fight the PNM, to put Kamala back as Prime Minister. God bless UNC and strong Saturday. Vote, vote, vote. God bless. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, that is the strength. Give it up for Anil Roberts. Brothers and sisters, tonight you have joined us in your hundreds along the East-West Corridor. That is the strength of your party. Brothers and sisters, tonight I ask you the question, are you going to give up the strength that we have built on the East-West Corridor on Saturday? Or are you going to stick with the star team? I want you to stick with us on Saturday. I want you to remember one thing. It was this star executive that won the Sandy Grandi Corporation from the PNM. It was this star executive that won an all the money in Arima. It was this star executive when it took over the UNC in 2010 that got point of pay in the arms of the UNC. Today you have David Lee. In 2007, Shagwana's East was PNM. Now with Vandana Mohit, it is under the UNC thanks to a star executive. It is thanks to a star executive that Maruga is now a UNC. And the other speaker, brothers and sisters, back in 2007, the UNC could not win San Juan Barataria. But thanks to our star executive and Kamala Pasad Bisesa, we won San Juan Barataria. And that is why I want you to welcome your next speaker, the Honorable Member of Parliament for San Juan Barataria, the brilliant lawyer, Mr. Saddam Hussein. Good evening, my UNC family. The stars are aligned and they are shining bright right here at the Hillview College. On Saturday, the 15th of June, who are we voting for? Who are we voting for? Who are we voting for? Say it so that I can hear it all the way in my arrow. Who are we voting for? Thank you very much. We are energized, we are mobilized. All we are waiting for is 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on June 15th to send them a clear, resounding message that we are ready to run the affairs of the membership of the United National Congress. As a proud member of the STAR team, I declare here tonight that I support our one leader, Kamla Pusad Bissessa of Senior Council. Tonight I challenge the other team, tonight I challenge the other team to declare that on their platform. They will not be able to declare that because they are against the loyal members of this party. And the reason I say that is because they have done it in the past. You remember when we are fighting tooth and nail in the parliament, slapping down the PNM, trying to destroy the PNM because they have ruined the lives of so many citizens. We had a very important vote in the parliament. We had put up an eminent senior counsel, Mr. Israel Khan, as our presidential candidate when the PNM handpicked Mrs. Kangaloo. When we went in that parliament and cast our votes, there were three spoiled ballots. Tonight, I can tell you, none of the MPs or senators on the star team spoiled their ballots. I can tell you that. Can the other side tell us that? They have voted solidly against the UNC and they are begging you now on Saturday to come and vote for them. We must tell them no. We must send a resounding no on June 15th. <laughs> Only under the star team, Kamla Pasad Bissessa gave the young people an opportunity. My colleague Vandana Mohit served as the youngest female mayor in Shigonas. Give Vandana a round of applause. While serving as a mayor, she took up the mantle and the challenge to fight the marginal seat of Shagwana's East and brought it home for you, the people of the United National Congress. Brilliant attorney Sean Sobers, who have served in the Senate, he has worked diligently, sacrificing his time and his legal practice in order to represent you in the Senate. The political leader at age 26, 
had some confidence in me and appointed me as an opposition senator. And at age 29, I brought home a marginal seat on the East-West Corridor. That seat of Barrett Area San Juan. And the PNM could fight how hard they want. Barrett Area San Juan is coming back home to the United National Congress. Today, the other team, they are not talking about that. They are not talking about that. What they're talking about is, win, is billing headquarters. That is all they're talking about. The last meeting, Dr. Munilal said, but the building they want to find, they want to build, sorry, he found it in Germany. So I think Mr. Parrish should have run against Mr. Nicholas Morris as the international relations officer. He shouldn't be running as the deputy political leader. But they have engaged, they have engaged in a very dangerous campaign. A campaign that we should reject. Their campaign is based on hate. It is based on division. It is based on propaganda. And it is based on mischief. The only other people in this country who campaigns like that is the PNM. It is the PNM. We in the UNC have presented plans. We have presented policies. We have told the country in no uncertain terms that we support stand your ground legislation. We have supported business owners who would want to secure legal firearms for the regulations to be freed up a bit. We are supporting you in order to get more jobs if we get back into government. We were the only government to create 50,000 new jobs without raising a single new tax. And that was under the leadership of Kamala Prasad Bissessa. What have those five done that could match the leadership of Kamala Prasad Bissessa? What can they say that they have done? Where did they etch or carve in the national landscape or development something to benefit the people of this country? But today they want to lead us. We are going to tell them no on Saturday. We will tell them a flat no on Saturday. Look where we are tonight. Tonight we are fighting against our brothers and sisters in the UNC. That is what we are doing when we should be aiming our resources aiming our time to fight the PNM because nobody wants Rowley. Nobody in this country wants Rowley. But Saturday, I must tell Parry, nobody wants Mr. Parry to lead the UNC. You must tell him that. We have a very important debate in the parliament tomorrow. We are going in the parliament to discuss a very important matter and that deals with whistle-blowing legislation. That is to protect persons who come out from the public sector, the private sector, and give information of corruption and wrongdoing within those sectors. But that bill that the PNM has provided to us is a fundamentally flawed bill. We should be tonight researching, preparing to go in the parliament tomorrow and pulverize Rowley, the Attorney General, and Fitzgerald Hines because they have failed to protect us. They have failed to protect us from murderers, from criminals, from bandits. You think they could protect us from white collar crime? They cannot do that because Heinz is sleeping. They have no knowledge. They don't have the sophistication. They don't have the ideas in order to run this country. The star team, we have the ideas. We have the human resource. We have the policies. And we are guided by Kamala Prasad Bissessa, who will be returning as the next prime minister of this country. She will be returning. So tonight, we should have been doing that, but tonight the other team have us here, have us spending and diverting our resources. It isn't only in the PNM's interest, it is to divide, to divide the UNC. Nobody else but the PNM interest, it is to divide the UNC. But here we are tonight, they are dividing us, they are spreading messages of hate, they are spreading propaganda against their own brothers and sisters of the United National Congress. And tonight, I am begging you, I am pleading with you, I am praying to you tonight, my UNC colleagues, to reject that politics on June 15th and vote for all 17 stars when you go. And don't let, they're hoping for this, but don't let a single one of them slip in. Do not play tic-tac-toe with your ballot paper. Vote for all 17 stars. Before you put that ballot paper in the box, 
open it, inspect it, make sure you have 17x by the 17th stars, then go and deposit that ballot paper in the ballot box. Vote for all 17 stars. But tonight, my UNC brothers and sisters, I have to encourage you, I have to inform you that this election will really drive the future of the UNC. This side is totally against the PNM. I cannot say the same for the other side. I cannot say the same for the other side. We are fighting this election. We have visited almost every nook and cranny of Trinidad just to meet with the membership, encourage you to come out and vote. The party is ready. The message is clear that we are ready for government. We are ready to get rid of Keith Rowley. We are ready for a UNC government. We are ready for that. And tonight, before I leave you on this very energetic platform, I want to leave you with a very important quote. And I want you to listen very carefully to this quote. It says, the United National Congress would remain diligent and would defend and uphold your welfare and interests. We have a political leader with a track record of service and commitment to all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Mrs. Pesad Bicessa is a leader of vision and empathy and a person of heart and courage. She has championed solutions to our various national crises, and in time, she would get the opportunity to implement them once again for the betterment of Trinidad and Tobago. My brothers and sisters, I urge you I urge each of you to continue to provide solid support for our great party and our creative and futuristic leader. A quote from none other than Rushton V.J. Parry. So tonight, I tell you, my brothers and sisters in the UNC, let us throw our support behind our great political leader. Throw your support behind the dynamic star team. Let us ready this party for general election. Let us ready to take back the powers from the government of the Keith Rowley Mal administration and retain Kamala Pasad Bissessa as the next Prime Minister and the Star Team as the next Executive of the United National Congress. I thank you very much, my colleagues. Let's hear it one more time for Saddam Hussein. My friends, I just meet a posse from Bitam and Port of Spain and they say I didn't call them out. Let us hear some noise from Dego Martin, Port of Spain, Bitam, Barataria Sawa, St. Joseph, East West Corridor, make some noise, let them know you are ready. You just heard from young dynamic Saddam Hussein who is doing us justice in the parliament, keeping the Attorney General and the Minister of National Security on their toes. Give them a round of applause. Tonight, all those who are here at Hillview College and every member who is a registered financial member of the UNC has a choice on Saturday the 15th. And the choice is, you could either vote for the stars, the winning team, or you could choose from either the patriotic front or the patriotic back. Which one you really want to choose? We are ready to win with the stars. We are ready to win with Kamala Pasad Bisesa. And our next speaker was the first youth officer when the United National Congress was formed. He is a former Minister of Housing and former leader of government business in the parliament. He is the member of parliament for Oropuch East with over 20 years of experience in the parliament. He holds a BSc in government studies, a PhD in development studies, is a qualified attorney at law. He is a deputy political leader before this election and he is our candidate and I have no doubt he will win. So he is the next deputy political leader of the UNC, Dr. Rudal Munilal.
Thank you, thank you very much, brothers and sisters all. Assembled in your thousands this evening at Tanapuna, give yourselves a round of applause. As far as my eye could see, I'm seeing yellow, I'm seeing the flags, I'm seeing our supporters from the length and breadth of the East-West Corridor. Brothers and sisters, this evening, this is a mammoth assembly of persons in support of the winning slate, the star slate in the, in the elections of our party on June 15th. Tonight I'm told that when we are in this massive hall, we have almost 500 persons outside who are unable, regrettably, to secure a seat for themselves here. But I want to assure you that this party is a party that welcomes all, that appreciates all, and you are all part of the UNC family. Welcome and good evening. Brothers and sisters, we assemble tonight for what is a critical meeting to discuss very serious issues affecting our country. Today, this country is unrecognizable from the paradise that Mrs. Prasad Bissessa left in 2015. There is no sector of our economy, no sector of the national economy that today has survived the onslaught of the dictatorship of Keith Rowley. How amusing it was, how tragic, but what a, a, a piece of comic tragedy that today when the Prime Minister was addressing a press conference at the office of the Prime Minister, current gone, light gone. This is the office of the Prime Minister and somebody said when the current gone, they, they find his song better. They started to understand. But this is the Prime Minister's office, Port of Spain, the city, the proud city of Trinidad and Tobago, capital, electricity gone. This is where we are today. This is the nature of our backwardness. There are, when you drive the country in the last four weeks or so, we have been all over Trinidad in this wonderful campaign. Could I announce to you tonight, I have consulted with our party organizer, Ravi Ratiram, and would you believe we have finished so far 87 meetings across Trinidad with our supporters. In 72 electoral districts, and we had to meet, of course, in areas where we don't have councillors, we don't have that presence. 87, we expect that in the coming days, we will complete 100 meetings with our supporters, our members, our activists. That, brothers and sisters, is work. That is political work. That is hard work. And tonight, brothers and sisters, I tell you this because the team that we are putting together, the, stay, the slate of the stars, is a team capable of hard work. What other slate could say that they have had 100 meetings across this land? Sometimes we had some of us, we had five meetings per night, each of the deputy political leaders. They go in one place, they bring one set of people and they go up and down the place with the same people up and down and say they have meeting. Meeting is when you go in every corner, every village, every town, every street and you meet our supporters. And what are they telling us? They are telling us that they are fed up with this government and we must remove Keith Rowley and the PNM as soon as practically possible. But to remove them, we must have a united political party. This is why we are united. You see our sign, you see our slogan. We are united. One team, one leader. They can't say that, as Saddam said, they can't say that. They don't have one leader, you know, they may have about 10 leaders. Today, in, uh, today, something strange happened. The member for Shogunas West, I think he was looking for the corner of Pier Road and Kakandi Road. He got lost and ended up at Debe Junction. I saw a short video and he was there screaming at motocars. It had one stray dog began to run. He was there screaming at the motor cars. My constituents called me. 
A gentleman from Kucha one trace, they say, Rudy, what is happening to that um, MP? He's on the street sign, uh, he's on the street standing up, shouting sometimes. People were passing with young children in their car. The children got frightened. This is what they were doing today. Poor fella, that is why I told you there's a famous book, uh, Kevin Ramnarine, who is here in our audience, former Minister of Energy. Give him a round of applause. There's a famous book by, there's a famous book by Reverend William Anderson Scott, 1845, Mr. Assam. And he has in that book this truism, those who the gods wish to destroy, they first make mad. I said Pagal and Barakpo, but it's mad. And today they were like mad people on the street. The Debe police told me they could have arrested him for obstruction, nuisance, disturbing the peace. So these people, they're, they are out of their head. The leader of that slate, the member from Mayaro, he goes, uh, he's speaking not to people. I think he was talking to a phone. He's talking to a phone, and he says the Constitution has nothing to do with members of parliament. But a member of parliament, as a senator, as a minister, as a prime minister, is a creature of the Constitution. It provides for members of parliament. In fact, it provides for the qualification, and by virtue of that, the disqualification for members of parliament. Now, these are fellas, I thought it's just the UNC constitution they didn't read, but they didn't even read the national constitution. And they are proposing themselves for leadership. But I want to tell you something. We, we, we should have figured out this fella a long time ago. I will tell you something that I've not, I've not said in public, at least on this kind of platform yet. In 2016, 2016, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Passard Bissessa was awarded a global medal for her contribution to politics and development. In the region, she was going to get this award, she was going to get the award in Bahamas. So Mrs. Passard Bissessa asked all the MPs, she said, listen, I'm going to get this award, it was November or December, and she said, those of you, I would love for you all to accompany me. I'm going to receive this very prestigious global award. In fact, I believe a, a, a queen from Norway somewhere came there too. So some of us said we could make it and we go in. Do you know who went to Bahamas on, for that trip? Dr. Tim Gopi Singh. Uh, the sister Vidya Gopi Singh from San Fernando, Arapuch West. Saddam Hussein was there went to Bahamas, and Rudal Munilal. But it had one other fellow who joined us, the member of parliament for Mayaro. So here what happened, Dr. Tim is coming in. Give him a round of applause, the, the former minister of education. So brothers and sisters, when we landed in the Bahamas International Airport, we saw a big, big, big limousine, a big, long black limousine. You know them long stretch kind of limo. When we see that, we say, well, what, the, what is this going on here? The fella come out, he say, no, 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 no. This is for the, the opposition leader of Trinidad and Tobago, former prime minister. This is the vehicle for that person. We said, okay, boy, no problem. We flagged down a taxi. We pay 40 US dollars and we go into the hotel. We said, no problem. When we reach at the hotel, we see this limousine driving up, coming uh, through the driveway, coming up to the lobby. We say, Mrs. Passard Bissessa has arrived. Let us please receive her. Come on, come on, leave that there. Let's go and receive her. So we go on. When the limousine pull up, slowly, 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 and stop. The back door open, and out alighted the member of parliament for Mayaro Rushton Parry. Now I thought that was a sign. That was a sign. So I said, but what is going on here? This is from Mrs. Passard Bissessa. Later in the evening, we discovered that she landed around the same time, a little later, and she also had to go and flag down a taxi and come to the hotel. I met Mr. Parry. I said, Mr. Parry, what are you doing? How could you do that? He laughed, kiki, kiki, smiling, laughing, skinning his teeth. He said, well, I thought they were referring to me, so I jumped in the car and gone. Now, let me tell you something. That is a breach of protocol. 
it is improper, it is unethical. And that was the first sign I think we should have seen long time ago that this fella was up to some trick. He was up to a trick from early o'clock. If you could do that then, what is now? So brothers and sisters, this is what we face, this type of campaign. Today, I listen to them and I must say, I, I live, listen with a heavy heart. I was very sad, you know, I was very sad to hear some of those videos they put up. Do you know what they put up a video? Saying that some of us on this team, I presume me, I as well, but others, Anil Roberts and others and so on, they're saying some of us on the team, we have skeleton in the closet and we are not fit and we are not um, what proper and so on. They're saying that, you know, that is why they are the PNMB team, because that is the PNM narrative. That is the PNM narrative. And I want to tell them today, we have no skeleton in the closet. What we have are battle scars because we have been in battle. You can only have battle scars when you are fighting. The PNM will not attack any Mickey Mouse. They will not attack Daffy Duck and Goofy and Min what is, what is she, Mincy Mouse or something. They will not mini Mouse. They will not attack a Mickey Mouse. They attack a lion. They attack a dragon. They attack a princess warrior. That is who they attack. You think any the PNM have time to attack them? That is why we have battle scars. And we are proud of our battle scars. I want to remind Paré and that team that when Mr. Pande formed the government in 1995 with the Honorable Mervyn Assam, who is here tonight, Mr. Pande was before the courts on criminal charges. That was the scar that he took. They later jailed Pande for corruption. The dictatorship will do that. We don't have skeletons, brothers and sisters. We have battle scars. And we are proud that we have battle scars. I tell them tonight, brothers and sisters, I want to tell you tonight that in nine years I have been in opposition. Nine years. And not once did a policeman, police officer, ever question me. Forget arrest and arm, charge and thing. They have never questioned me in nine years on anything to do with my conduct as a minister of government of Trinidad and Tobago. Not once. Not once. So today, I ask them to cap it. I ask Parry and his team, please do not regurgitate, do not vomit the PNM narrative. If you have nothing to say, say nothing, but don't repeat the narrative of the PNM. That is why you are the PNMB team. Brothers and sisters, tonight I call upon you to come out on Saturday in your numbers to ensure that you vote across the land, to ensure that you vote strongly for your star slate of candidate. Brothers and sisters, we have, re we have the endorsement, the support, the love of the political leader, the Honorable Kamala Pasad Bissessa. They don't have that. We are the warriors, we are the fighters. Barry Padarat is always saying, when you listen to the Parliament channel, who do you hear? Who do you see? It is Kamla Basad Bisesa, Barry Padarat, Saddam Hussein, Dave Tanko, and we come down, Vandana Mohit. These, these are the people who fight the PNM, brothers and sisters. We are, we are the warriors. If you're looking for their name, you cannot find it on the Hansard. Is that true? You know where you could find them name? They have a list that has put up in the kitchen with everybody who order food. You could find their name on the list. You cannot find their name on the Hansard. You cannot find their name as delivering a speech. I ask you, have you all, can you remember one speech of Paré in the parliament? Can you remember one speech of the member for Shogunas West? You could remember for the wrong reason the member for Naparima. But they have not made a contribution in the parliament. Last week, Friday, the finance bill, $3 billion. You know, none of them stood up to speak. None. None. It was members of the star slate. And you, anyone can put up their hand and speak in the parliament. So when they come to you with this nonsense that they can win an election, they're campaigning, telling us they could win. Who will win? The very distinguished Rai Ragbir. Who will win? I, I don't know the rest. I don't know much on this slate. 
I don't know who else is there, but they win what? My friends, that slate cannot win six glass and a jug in a bazaar. They can't win a jug and six glass in a bazaar. So what they will win election? If Rowley bark at them, they will duck under the table and hide. We are the strength of the UNC. We have built the UNC. Today, look at the East-West Corridor. There was a time in this party, I have been in this party for 35 years. There was a time if you come to Napuna for a meeting, you talk to 35 people and you bring 20. Today, look at this meeting here in Tanapuna, the East-West Corridor. We are on the verge of winning Tanapuna in the next general election. We will win St. Joseph. We will win Barataria Samoa. We will win La Hoqueta Talparo. Let me say that again. Adenia La Hoqueta Talparo, Jolene. We will win La Hoqueta Talparo. And on election Saturday, brothers and sisters, I put it to you that we will crush them in my arrow. We will humble them in Naparima. We will mash up in Shaguanas West. We will bury in Komoto Manzanilla. On that day, we will beat them to a frazzle. And then we will beat the frazzle on Saturday. So come out in your numbers early. Come out and ensure you cast a resounding vote for the star team. All, all, all members of the star team, motivate your fellow members in your house, in your street, in your town, in your city, so they come out with you. When you're going to the polls, carry others with you, so we will get that big victory that we need to take our party into the government of Trinidad and Tobago. We have been there before. We can rebuild this country. We can fix the infrastructure. We can fix the energy sector. We can deal with crime. We have dealt with it before, and today, brothers and sisters, I call upon you to stand strong. We have a great leader. She is the next Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We have a great team, we have a great party, and we have a great future. Long live the United National Congress, and long live the political leader. I thank you. Love you all. Come give it up for the Lion brothers and sisters. And as I said, by 10 to 1, by 10 to 1 on Saturday, Dr. Rudal Munilal, Dr. David Lee, and Senator Jolene John would be your deputy leaders when they beat Rai Ragbir, when they beat Anita Haynes, and when they demoralize Roshan Pare on Saturday as your deputy leaders. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, we have over a thousand people here tonight because they think it's a general election because they want to ensure that they blaze the Patriots on Saturday. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know we have a number of MPs on this slate. And the other side has been spreading a false narrative about the performance of your opposition. I want you to know that Dr. David Lee, as your chief whip and your leader of the opposition, General Kamala Prasad Bisesa, and all the members of parliament on this slate have filed over 500 questions on your behalf in the parliament in the last four years. That is the strength of your slate, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know that never before in the history of the UNC has the UNC been so active with press conferences, with Monday night forums and midweek conferences. And that is why tonight we could pull out veterans like Mr. Mervyn Assam because the pioneers of this party understand that your party is only safe in the hands of the star team. Brothers and sisters, tonight I want to welcome some local government um, councillors who will introduce you, introduce you to the winning members of the star team. So let us welcome Councillor Barrett and Councillor Pagu from the Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Morris. We are in El Dorado, the city of gold, and you are at my alma mater, Hillview College. <clears throat> I am really happy today to present to you a few of our shining stars. Here now, I know about them fellas and them, eh? But you see, these stars we given all you, they are the brightest, best thing has ever happened to the United National Congress. I know every one of them, 
and I'm vouching for them with my heart. I love all of them. I love them. All you love them, give them a round of applause. I want to introduce to you one of our really lovely and a man with a great heart. He's the present chairman of the San Luis Grande Regional Corporation. He has been serving as a counselor for Manzanilla, Manzanilla Fishing Pond since 2016, having been elected three times. Three times. Former Youth Affairs Officer and Elections Officer of the Komoto Manzanilla constituency. He is an executive with over 15 years of service to the United National Congress. Put your hands together for none other than Councillor Kenwin Phillip. You see this lady I got introduced earlier? I know this lady since 2010. She don't bike nice. She's a star in her own right. Some people that say, when you see the boss, you'll see she next to the boss because she's so good. Stalwart of the UNC, known for the Shanty Brigade, served as a local government councillor since 2010, vice chairman of the Penal Debe Regional Corporation, serving as South Coordinator since 2010, forming dozens of party groups and party arms throughout South Trinidad. Put your hands together for a wonderful, beautiful, powerful woman, none other than Councillor Shanti Budram of a spying for of a South Regional Coordinator Position. Let's see it for Shanti. I have the pleasure to introduce to you a man who's been a successful businessman with over 20 years of management experience, served on the board of directors of Unicot and also Swimcol. He has served as a Northeast Northwest Regional Coordinator from 2017 holds an MBA and Master in Law, and is also a qualified commercial pilot. He will fly them fellas away. They are good, we are one them. Well, when they come back and do the thing, but let me tell you something. This fella is a hard worker in Diego Martin, in Paula Spain, where it is so difficult, working day out and day in. Let's put it together for none other. Northwest Regional Quarter Position, Mr. Eli Zakuru. Yeah, yeah, you see the stars? We beat them in the east, we beat them in the west, we beat them in the north, we beat them in the south, we beat them, beat them, beat them, beat them, beat them. Yes, yes, for the stars. We love the stars. We love you guys. You are the best. Thank you very much, Councillor Barat. Star team, let me hear you make some noise. Tonight, I have the esteemed pleasure of introducing our Northeast Regional Coordinator, Ms. Khadija Amina, a child of the UNC who has been placed in handcuffs for defending the party, nominated for local government councillor at age 21 and then elected at age 22. In 2010, she became the youngest chairman of the Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation former Women's Arm Chairman, Deputy Leader. Please stand as we welcome our political leader. That was a little test to make sure I was listening. <laughs> Let's hear it for MP Khadija Amin. You all may have your seats. Please help me welcome on stage our Central Regional Coordinator, MP Vandana. Former the youngest mayor 
in the nation history as mayor of Shaguanas. She is the outgoing education officer and shadow minister of social development in the House of Representatives, the young and dynamic member of parliament for Shaguanas East. Tobago, the best political leader, the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa, as she makes her way into Hillview College tonight. Brothers and sisters, tonight hundreds of you are gathered here because of the dedication and commitment of the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa, the only political leader that has strengthened the arms of the UNC along the East West Corridor. Let us welcome the Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa, SC, Member of Parliament for Saparia, as she makes her way through the crowd tonight. Let us welcome the best Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago as she walks and meets us all here at Hillview College. Tonight we remind you that we are, Hillview, we are in Hillview College. Over 900 people are here tonight to meet with Kamala Prasad Bisesa and the star team as we continue to fight for your party.
along with Vidya Mahabir, who will introduce herself. Good night. Vidya Mahabir, I'm the older man at the Arima Borough Corporation. And I am Brian Big, legal officer of the United National Congress, and a special good night to our political leader, the only leader for the United National Congress. Now, wh welcome. Join with me as our next winning star, in the candidate of international relations officer, welcome Wilfred Nicholas Morris. Served as chairman of the UNC's UTAM from 2011 to 2015. Served as international relations officer from 2015 to current date. In 2022, his international policy writing of the UNC placed second in the Caribbean at regional symposium held by the Chinese government. He's pursuing an MBA in oil and gas management, achieved certificates in parliamentary management, administration, as well as parliamentary procedure, and Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, our next international relations officer, Wilfred Nicholas Morris. And we go in again, quick and fast. Welcome your next education officer for the United National Congress of the Star Team, Ravi Ratiram. Former UE Guild president, member of parliament for Kuva North and shadow agriculture minister, served as party organizer from 2015 to current, holder of a BSc in engineering and MBA from Anglia Ruskin University. Ladies and gentlemen, let us hear it for Ravi Ratiram. And we continue in the position and will be our next treasurer of the star team and will lead the UNC further. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Olaman Viliana Ramuta Singh, I'm gonna give prolific businesswoman who is known for event management and fundraising, committed servant of the UNC for over 30 years as an invaluable member of San Fernando West team serve as alderman for the UNC and the San Fernando City Corporation. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome and congratulate Viliana Ramuta Singh. I hand you over now to my sister, Vili Vidya Mahabir. Good night, everyone. Good night, political leader. 
Tonight we want to welcome one of our bright, young, shining stars, Policy and Strategy Officer, Mr. Saddam Hussein. A brilliant, a brilliant young attorney with significant experience in civil law, former senator in the 11th Parliament, and outgoing research officer of the UNC. The fearless and fiery member of parliament for Sawa Baratoria, shadow minister for legal affairs and attorney general, a graduate of UWI, Cave Hill graduate of Hugh Wooding Law School, where he graduated on the principal role of honor, winning the Justice Wendell Kangaroo Advocacy Award. Let's welcome our new policy and strategy officer, Mr. Saddam Hussein. It's your sky for stars. Our next shining star, vying for the position of election officer, MP Anal Ram, served as research officer of the UNC from 2010 to 2015 then served as Policy and Strategy Officer of the UNC from 2015 to 2020, Member of Parliament for Karini Central and Shadow Minister of Sport and Youth Affairs, holds a BSc in Electrical and Computer Engineering from the UE MBA from Harriet Watt University and is also a qualified practicing attorney. Let's welcome our new election officer, MP Anal Ram. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time for the stars. And we have some more stars coming up. But right about now, I want to introduce some woman power. I want to introduce a woman who has a track record of entrepreneurial and management excellence for over 25 years. She served as a minister in the government of Basdeo Pandey. She was a dynamic firebrand senator representing our great party in the upper house. And all the people who make a noise from La Hoketa Talparo. She has been a deputy political leader since 2017. She is a candidate for deputy political leader once again. And I have no doubt that she will win. She is a chartered accountant, a certified professional accountant, and a certified management accountant. Let us welcome. Deputy Political Leader, Sister Sherry Dunn. violence and crime and a beer gun till the youths and my father mine. Oh, them buzz it when rain a fall. You know, she said them no care, them ya youth. Buzz it all when sun a shine. Oh, you know, see, you know, see a beer juvenile. Father was a killer. Oh, well, I see him turn him grow. Oh, I know me can't see. No matter how the life we do, me can't see. Up here, gun shots are big. Saturday. Saturday is just now. <laughs> Leader of the opposition, our most honorable Kamla Prasad Vicesa of senior counsel, UNC loyal supporters, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. UNC, you are on the corridor. Thank you for coming out in your massive show of force. Corridor massive! You are aware that the UNC success in GE, General Election 2025, passes through this corridor from St. Joseph 
Well, Barataria San Juan actually, to St. Joseph, to Tunapuna, to Toko Sandy Grandi, and my beloved, La Hoketa Talparo. LHT is in the house. We are almost there. Thank you again. We are here tonight because every two years, as the Constitution of the UNC dictates, we hold free and fair elections for you, the UNC, to choose your national executive. This is the third time I have sought your endorsement as one of your three deputy political leaders. And my observations on this occasion is that the actions of our opponents to date clearly demonstrates that they intend to take the low road to high office. That appears to be their intention. They cannot debate us on national issues. I have been hearing the CV of the star, the star slate. I'm hearing the work experience. You think anybody could beat this star slate? Anybody? Man, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. They bounce the head. And Saturday, they go bounce the foot. They cannot beat us on performance. But they complain that we are only speaking about national issues. What do you think this national executive election is about? A cuss out? Them they are behaving stink and dirty and have some old truck making noise all over the place as if they feel it's a stink and dirty effect. What are they doing? What it is, it is not a race to the bottom. The National Executive of the United National Congress will support the political leader in ensuring that we are ready for to beat the PNM, to beat the PNM in 2025. They don't say the voice of the people is the voice of God. But today you see that the lights in Whitehall does also give a sign. Rowley internal polls tell him that he loses in the general election in 2025. Even the infrastructure in Whitehall shut down today under the weight of Rowley lies. My UNC family, there are two major parties in this. There are two major political parties in this country. And the United National Congress is certainly one of them. Everybody wants a piece of us. Because we big and we bad and we bold and we are going to win in 2025. We got, we got, we got the popular votes in 2020. And we won seven corporations with the popular votes in 2023. How can we, or we will not, allow people who have done no work for that I have no consideration or basic respect for you, our hard-working, loyal activists. Are you going to allow them? Yes, God. I hear them talking about what they will do and what they should do if they win. I think these folks are getting carried away. Maybe it's the noise of them big truck. All of the subterfuge and the conflation will not stop the doors of reality coming their way on Saturday. So I strongly suggest that these people with their hand closed tight because of the spelt stone and then close their hand. All your slow, all your wool. Drink all your porridge cool. Do not comment on how the day has been until you have seen the evening. And Miss Charville, Grandmother Magica say, don't go and check eggs in fowl. Yeah, yeah, she just tell them. So let me break it down. Them not winning nothing on Saturday. They may win nothing on Saturday. They may win nothing on Saturday. Nothing for them is dust to dust, ashes to ashes. They're winning nothing on Saturday. They're too damn bold and out of place. How you could come in our house, we treat you so good. It have nobody on earth better than Kamla Prasad Bissessa. It have nobody else treat you better than Kamla Prasad Bissessa. Eh? And you want to come and talk about Kamla Prasad Bissessa? Not this way, my friend. We're going to beat them on Saturday. LHD is here, and without fear of contradiction. We have 17 very hard-working party groups. I want these MPs who know everything that's wrong to tell me how much party groups they have. LHD mobilized today and dropped 180 people in this hall tonight. That is power! 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 Performance beats all talk. Performance beats all talk. In the UNC, we don't agree on everything. 
but we never get out of formation. We work as a team. I mean, yeah, last night I was in Tabakit with three meetings with MP Padarat, and it was beautiful, MP Padarat. Thank you so much. You understand? So much. It was beautiful. That is the dedication of this team. We do what we have to do. We go to Sidras, we go to Bish. I saw my colleagues in places I didn't know exist. They went to take that word to our people. I don't know, you know, in the earlier days, before COVID, when we realized, you know, COVID showed us that Zoom and Google Meet works. I used to go all around on a Friday evening, preparing the various constituencies for their Monday night meetings. I went to Miaro, among others. I went all over many times after drive back alone, late in the night. I remembered when we did San Fernando West, a young man introduced himself as Sean Sobers. And he came up with, and told me what he was going to talk about. And I both him bad. I both Sean bad. I said, come again. The night late, I got in my inbox, Sean Sobers' new speech. What happened? The leader was in Port of Spain. They were holding back her back in the parliament. And she called and she said, listen, I might make it because I want to talk and they hold me back. She said, you be defeat here. I said, leader, we have 2,500 people in NAPS right now. They come to see me. They come to see you. You need to come down. You know what? True UNC, and see not power hungry. We are not power hungry. We work for our space and place in the UNC. That's what we do. We work hard. Leader said, can you make sure when I'm talking in the parliament, let them bring me over, put me on this TV screen. I said, leader, they didn't come to see me. They came to see you. And she came down. Naps went up. And you know what happened? Sean Sobers was talking under my guidance and tutelage when the leader was coming in. He was beautiful. You know what happened? I think within two weeks, he was a senator in the Senate of Trinidad and Tobago. That is what happens, right? That is what happens. That is what Kamla Prasad Bissessa does. She rewards hard work. She rewards talent. So if you get a lovely seat, last night we in Tabakit. Man, it's not when the only place nice is in Tabakit is Charlottesville. I don't know you could be in Tabakit and they love it. Not only that, there's so much promise for Tabakit. There are farmers there, you know, farming a thousand, I think, a million pounds of produce a year they put into the national space. Now you have to build that up. You, the Mr. Badel told me, a premier farmer, he said there are 100 farmers in Tabakit. That is what we are planning to do. We have to decentralize the wealth, decentralize the opportunity. One has to make sure farmers like Mr. Badel and they have good access road. They are pre 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 larceny, they are protected from pre larceny, and they have a place and a space to sell their goods. And they are encouraged to not only put one million pounds, they are encouraged to put five million pounds because then we can save valuable foreign exchange. How you could get a seat like Tabakit and you're happy? I don't understand it. So we, we went all over. We worked with each other. The leader of this party, hands are not closed in, and to hide the seat, but open to embrace all. Some of us stumble, some even fall, but our leader stands like a rock. She stands with us like a rock. We'll admonish in private, but will never turn her back on us. Never mind the public pressures. Our leader might not say it, but tonight I say on her behalf, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Let him cast the first stone. No, I don't want to applause you and see. I want her amen. 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 Sometimes the honorable political leader even looks at me and she says, Why are you here looking so stringy? And I will, she said, you need to trim it. And I say, but this good lady, I know much others pay for these inches. What she doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? My black sisters know we're going down. They know, you understand? So they are speaking. They are not speaking of this government, devoid of ideas. Yeah, in UNC, we full of self-confidence. We don't care, let's pay for it. I love it. They are not speaking of this government. We work, we work hard. We work hard for who we are. We are proud of who we are. You are here, but you are see people crazy. You are talking about economists who is, who are law, who is lawyer, PhD who is lawyer, engineer who is lawyer. You are see people crazy. This is a well-qualified team. And all who wondering about who, who will step into the shoes of Kamla Prasad Bissessa, don't you worry about a thing. We have a deep bench of talent. 
in the UNC. I've been around this country with my colleagues over the last few weeks, and I'm so proud of them. I could not have loved them more. And I thank you for your service, my wonderful colleagues. So they're speaking about a government devoid of ideas, of vision, devoid of substance. The government measures citizen success by who could buy almond milk and who can't, who could eat macaroni pie and who can't, who could eat doubles with knife and fork, who can afford to go to reggae concert and who can't. I will only tell you, if you're going to reggae concert, that you're rich, but I say tonight, fire burn Rowley. It's too damn fast and out of place. Who is Rowley? Damn fast. Fast and out of place. Fire burn him tonight. No need the lights to go out on your head. We are like a war zone where chaos, destruction, and sadistic brutality and sick violence and torture prevail. We have all kind of things, all kind of pestilence imaginable. And all we are studying is who going to relax yourself in a, in, a, in a concert. Our party believes in the redemptive power of education and that every child should grow up believing that success belongs to him. It is the reason in 1999, Kamla Prasad, as the Minister of Education, ensured that there was a place for every child in secondary school. I don't know if you remember, 10,000 children used to fail common entrance, and they used to call them Duncey Head. And Kamla Prasad, Bissessor, she solved that problem. How could a woman uh, with such a deep bench of talent such a wide expanse of a CV, you want to wash your mouth on her. You're in my watch, not on our watch. We're going to vote them out on Saturday. Oh, no. Apologies. They were never in. We never vote them in, so they are not voting out. All right? So they're just eh, getting a foot in the door. So we believe that every child should grow up believing that success belongs to them. And they don't have to change who they are just to get along. That our role is to facilitate a pathway which enables a child to go as far as their ability and ambition can take them. That is the Trinidad and Tobago we fight for. A UNC government will deliver opportunity for all of our, ch our children. Just as we will crack down on antisocial behavior, we will enforce the law at every level because low-level crime blights communities. They blight communities, big and small. We can only do this if we have a Natex who works with the duly elected leader in the interest of our great UNC party. So a child, it doesn't matter where a child comes from, whether they are just a sea lot or Charlottesville, Tunapuna or Toku, Faisabad or Fairways, they should, this should never determine their destiny. But today, the neighborhood she grows up in impacts her odds of graduating from school, from secondary school, her health and her mental health outcomes, and her lifetime economic opportunities. What we do as the UNC is to balance the scale. In the UNC, everybody have a fair shot at success. That is who we are, and that is why you have to go out on Saturday and vote for this national executive of stars. And it's not just stars because we're showing off. We are stars in terms of our education and our experience. When it is they have built up, they built their whole, what do you call it? Their whole campaign that they got built some building for, for UNC and then went online and downloaded a building. On my phone, right now on Google Drive, you will see what we're going to do in Port of Spain. Not no download. We have conceptuals, we have renderings from architect. Dr. Munilal ensured that was done. Kamla Prasad Bissess ensured that was done. We have what will happen along this corridor, what will happen in Shugwanas, what will happen in San Fernando. That is what we have been doing. We're not lazy. We don't go and download something from the internet. That is how they have built their platform on fake, trickery, and falsehood. And we must not let them get a toehold in our great party. So as I wrap up, because the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. I have to tell you again, because I feel Dr. Munlan and the leader forgets. For the period 2010 to 2015, we, de we delivered 8,521 housing units. That is a record anywhere in the world, across 25 sites. We started 7,130, that is five years ago. If we were given, and we were given out 100 keys a week from 2010 to 2015, how much you think would have been given out if our leader had three inter uninterrupted terms? We would have been given out 500 keys a week. And that is where we are going to go because our leader does not have any boundaries when it comes to helping the people of Trinidad and Tobago. So, honorable leader, 
UNC. It is with all over the place. These people are there playing with their imaginary friends, making all kinds of promises, ostensibly on your behalf. UNC, the seats we all occupied in Parliament, does not they, they belong to us. They are a gift from the people. And on Saturday, the people will speak, and they will speak resoundingly. So I'm telling you to get up early. Get up early and get out everybody. No, I didn't want to say this. The last internal, the political leader had the most. And my friend Calvin, the chairman from the... <laughs> this, <laughs> Kevin, I was calling Kelvin. <laughs> our great, our lovely chairman. <laughs> he said that they are coming after the leader's record. I said, well, yes. He said, out of respect, the last time, he didn't beat a record. So I told him, I said, my dear, we are going to disrespect our leader this one time on Saturday. La Hoketa Talparo. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for this privilege. Oh, where them get it from? Nobody know. The father was a killer. Oh, well, I see you turn them grow. Oh, I know me can't sleep. No matter how me try to do it. The stars are ready to win. The stars are well aligned. And so, as we welcome the next speaker, this is a woman who has led with compassion. A woman who thinks about the smallest child, the most elderly citizen, and everyone in between. She has served from local government, coming up to be the first female attorney general in this country. And I want to say one of the most innovative ministers of education. She then went on to become the first woman to lead a political party in Trinidad and Tobago by being elected as the leader of the United National Congress. And she became the first female Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Let us welcome the woman who will continue to lead the United National Congress, the Honorable Kamla Passad Bissessa. Give them a round of applause, please. <clears throat> Thank you all very much. Deputy Leader Jill and John, yeah! if I could dance like you, <laughs> give her a round of applause. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. 
all members of the STAR team, all dignitaries who are here, all present MPs, senators, councillors, all the men, past MPs, past senators, and of course, all the beautiful people here on the corridor, give yourselves a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. You know, when I suggested we do the final meeting on the corridor for the STAR team, some people doubted us. Some people doubted you. Say, no, we cannot go there. Well, tonight we are here, and this large audience in the hall and outside the hall is testimony that the UNC is on the road to victory. The UNC is on the road to victory. And we want to thank all of you who have come out here tonight. I speak to you here tonight on the eve of very important elections. Two by elections on Monday. Monday the 17th of June. Let's not mix them up. Two by elections. One came about because our long standing counselor, may he rest in peace, Dipti Ramnath, passed away in December, which caused the by election in my constituency in the seat of Queen Am Mandiablo. Now I am told on my way here, I got a call that Prime Minister Rowley is coming down onto the Pina Rock Road to campaign for the Queen Am Mandiablo seat. Welcome him with open arms because they know come on Monday the 17th, they will get a licking his licks like peas in Queen Am Mandiablo. The last time a Prime Minister, who was not myself, came to Pina, the late, dearly departed, may he also rest in peace, Patrick Manning. I met him in the junction on Clark Road Junction in Pinal. The rest is history. After that was goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. So Mr. Rowley, the constituents of Separia will meet and greet with you should you come tomorrow. But that will be the last time that you ever come as Prime Minister to any constituency in, in Trinidad and Tobago. The second by-election is because of the negligence and incompetence of the EBC. That is the seat in Lengua Indian Walk. I am told they're up and down, they're giving out house grants, they're giving out hampers, they're giving out all kinds of things. To the people of Lengua Indian Walk, take everything you get, and on Monday, vote for the rising sun. Go out and cast your vote for the UNC. So that is where we are two by-elections. But before those two by-elections, there is a mother of internal elections on, on Saturday the 15th. And I want to warn you, I want to warn you, this star team is not easy. This star team will light up the sky and light up the country to take the UNC back into victory. So tonight, I share with you, I am so proud that we have all these persons in our team. Some have been with us before, some are new, but every single one has been a loyal, stalwart member of the United National Congress. <laughs> Deputy political leader, Jill and John, give her a round of applause. You know, last Monday I spoke and I said when I became an MP in Pande government in 1995, I met Jill and John as a minister. People said, oh, wait. So you want to kill me because I say in 1995? I did become an MP, a minister in 1995, and Jill and John did become a minister in the Pande government. So some people going crazy about that. I think man sent a letter all over the newspapers and whatever, it doesn't change the fact that Miss John served as a minister in the Pandey government. Deputy Leader David Lee, where is the dragon himself? <laughs> Highly qualified, hardworking UNC stalwart for Deputy Leader. And Deputy Leader, the lion himself, Dr. Rudal Munilal. 
Chairman, well, Dave Tanku was in the mud in Arangwa Savannah, and he has never left the UNC. 35, he's still here, 35 years later. <laughs> Deputy Chairman Hamlin Jailal has been in the UNC as long as I know him, I know myself, his entire family, well qualified. <laughs> Policy and Strategy Officer, none other than my junior counsel, brilliant lawyer, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Education officer, Ravi Ratiram, who has served this party from day one. Thank you, Ravi. Research officer, my second junior counsel, Sean Sobers, where is he? Brilliant lawyers all working so hard for the United National Congress. Treasurer, well, Vili, I know you know how to make money, so please make some money for this party. <laughs> Treasurer of Viliana Rabotasing, thank you. Party organizer, you know, we used to call this boy, or this man, sorry boy, you know, to me, you're like a boy. Eh? When you reach my age, everybody else is children. So, <laughs> the party organizer, we all call him Pepper Mouth, Barry. But I went to a meeting, I heard somebody call him Pepper House. So the whole pepper is Barry Padarat fighting for a great party. Our elections officer also has been with us, another junior counsel, another lawyer. We have plenty of lawyers in the UNC and some good ones. Arnold Ram. So when they were reading out his qualifications here on stage, they say he's an engineer. I say, okay, I know that. Then they say he has an MBA. And then they say he's also another junior counsel, another lawyer. Give it a fan of Ram. <laughs> Nicholas Morris, please give it up for Nick. <laughs> Stalwart of our party from day one. Nick, I hear Munilal want to give away your job, or was it Saddam? International Relations Officer. Our candidate for International Relations Officer, Nicholas, we're not giving away your job. Keep it. Northeast Representative. Well, this is a woman of strength. You know, there are certain expressions you can use. Our team have men of testicular fortitude. Is that the correct words? People just call it something else, but you know, testicular fortitude. <laughs> and the women, they have belly. Give it up for Khadija. Khadija Amin. Northeast representative. Northwest regional rep. Poor Eli, where are you? Stand up, Eli Zakur. What they say about Eli, they say, what this white boy doing in the middle of all them UNC people? He has been a stalwart of us representing the west of Trinidad and Tobago. Central Regional Rep. Hmm. This girl was the youngest, one of the youngest mayors in Trinidad and Tobago. Coming out of the rank of local government, Vandana Hoyt. Central Regional Rep, now sits in the Parliament. South Regional Rep, well, this is the Shanti Brigade herself. Anyway, you see Shanti, she brings out the numbers, South Rep Shanti, and joining our team on the executive for the first time, but no stranger to the UNC, is the chairman of the Grandi Corporation, Kenwin Phillip, as a Tobago Rep. So that's a team, the entire star team. On Saturday, what do you do? You vote for the X. You put your, vote for the X, put your X next to the star. Don't spoil your ballot. I heard Salam again talking about how man, big man, you know, and maybe a woman, I don't know. They went into the parliament and spoiled the ballot for the presidential vote. So when you go to vote, don't spoil the ballot. You can only vote for one name for every position. Make sure when you go to cast your vote, to put your X, that next appears by every single star on the piece of paper. Every star on the ballot. Don't make a mistake and vote for the star and make a next X for another symbol. You can only have one vote for every person on the slate. Understand that. 
Do not spoil your ballot on Saturday. Put your X next to the star, every single star on that ballot paper. Now, there are a lot of people washing their mouth on the UNC, talking, 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 and you know they don't have a vote? They are not members of the UNC. They cannot vote on Saturday, understand? Only you blessed members of the UNC can cast a vote on Saturday. <laughs> Only UNC members. So don't get chained up by the noise from detractors who want to see you fail. Stay focused, stay laser focused, and put your ex next to the star. I want to speak to you about, as well, many of our old warriors may no longer be here with us in person. They will always be here with us in spirit. Previous generations of UNC warriors did not labor for decades to now have a slate of former PNA members and financiers attempting to take over the UNC. If they're in a grave, they will turn in the grave. And if ashes throw down by the Golden Oak Bridge or anywhere else, that ashes will jump up back out of the water. They will turn upside down. Our stalwarts who fought for so long for this great party will be, as I say, either turning in grave or ashes flying up because there's a team who are PNM, former PNM members, who want to take over the UNC. Will you let that happen on Saturday? No PNM should put their claws on the love of the people of the United National Congress. Don't let them take that away from you. How in the world can persons who admitted they were former PNM members and former PNM financiers ever be allowed to, use, to rule and to lead the UNC? Do you think PNM members would ever elect a former UNC member to lead the PNM? Do you think that would ever happen? Never. We owe it to our parents. We owe it to our grandparents. We owe it to previous generations of UNC warriors who labored for decades to build our great party. We owe it to them all to come out and protect our great party from PNM operatives on Saturday. Protect the UNC on Saturday. Cast your X next to the star symbol. Protect the UNC, your great party, on Saturday. That is your duty. That is your legacy. Protect your party. Every day, some former PNM, current PNM, or supporter of other parties, every day they are harassing UNC members. All these outside groups, parties, and PNM operatives have been insulting the UNC members for years. They are now best friends with the other slate. The other slate will replace loyal UNC members with whom? Not you. They will replace you, loyal members, with whom? PNM operatives. PNM operatives. So they hurl abuse, insults at faithful UNC members. They've run an entire Natex campaign based on PNM propaganda. In all my years, and there are many, I have never seen any slate run such a dirty and abusive campaign as this team is doing now. Their campaign is a copy and paste of PNM propaganda. Their platform was based on anger, bitterness, abuse, insults, and of course, insulting the entire UNC party and membership. They showed no love to our membership. They showed no gratitude to our membership. It was hurtful to see them insulting our party and our hard-working membership. I'll tell you this. The Bible tells us, Bible tells us, ingratitude is worse than witchcraft. Ingratitude is worse than witchcraft, Glenn, you know that? Good Presbyterian that you are. Ingratitude is worse than witchcraft. And so they took your votes, loyal UNC votes, to give them a seat in the parliament and now turning around and insulting you and abusing you. And they think you're so dotish. They'll come wrong a second time trying to get your vote. You give them that vote. 
in gratitude again, worse than witchcraft, they'll hand over your great party to whom? The PNM and PNM operatives. Protect your party on Saturday. Our councillors, our activists, supporters work so hard for this party day and night. Through their efforts, the UNC got 43,000 votes more than the PNM in the local government election. So if the UNC is not functioning, how did we beat the PNM by 43,000 more votes? Remember that. If that makes the UNC weak, then that makes the PNM weaker. The entire campaign is based on lies. It was designed to do maximum damage to the UNC ahead of the general election that is coming. They lied about the holding of internal elections. Up until this minute, they cannot provide a single piece of evidence where I ever, as leader, talked about postponing Natex elections. This is the sixth, sixth internal elections that will be taking place under my watch. Six under my watch as your leader. Six. <laughs> Campaigning they were. Abuse, insult to faithful UNC. I am firm in my belief that the other states' campaign was the opening act of the PNM general election campaign. Understand it? The opening act of the PNM general election campaign. One of them said, UNC membership has no integrity. Another one called our membership cowards. A third called our members thieves. And a fourth of them said our members are bobolies. Well, on Saturday, the only bobolies you will have will be those from the other side because the UNC faithful will come out. They will come out in their numbers. That is how they abuse you. And then they ask you for your vote. But they say they had a gumption to come and ask you, UNC people, for a vote after they slap you up. This is not battered wife syndrome, you know. This is not battered wife syndrome that you could slap up the UNC membership and expect them to come out on Saturday. So how do I think? You think you're coming out to vote for them on Saturday? Talking to you. Wish him happy birthday, please. <laughs> and I also want to take a moment to wish Karen in our head office happy birthday. And anybody else in the crowd with a birthday, let's say happy birthday to all those celebrating birthdays. So, they abuse you. They come and ask for your vote. And with all the PNM propaganda, that's also how Rowley behaves, you know. He will insult everybody under the sun. He will insult his own PNM members. Ask Twiggy, I think Twiggy in the crowd somewhere. Maybe we could ask Twiggy about this. They insult you. And then they expect you to give them a vote. We say, no way. And why are they not talking about the real pain and suffering being inflicted on the population by the PNM? They're not talking about that. They're not talking about PNM oppression. The economy is in shambles due to PNM incompetence and mismanagement. And our citizens are being forced to bear the brunt of it. The other team, they're not talking about that. Not talking about that. Hello. Here's Twiggy, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. The UNC is a party for everyone. So the economy is in shambles, but they're not talking about that. The government is bankrupt and broke. They're not talking about that. This government is bankrupt and broke, I tell you. I said it in Parliament. I said outside the Parliament. Under this government, our country is on the brink of collapse and destruction. The other team, not talking about that. Runaway crime, rampant government corruption, massive unemployment, poverty, but they are not talking about that. School violence, gang violence, potholes and sinkholes, no water. They're not talking about that. High food prices, 
children being gunned down daily, unprecedented, brutal, sadistic abuse of women and children. But the other team, not talking about that. A health system killing more people than saving lives. The other team, not talking about that. A water crisis which feels we are back like living in the 1800s. Backward times, widespread neglect. The other team, not talking about that. Why are they protecting the PNM? Why are they protecting the PNM? Ask yourself. They're not talking about PNM oppression. Why? Because they are the PNM B team. They are the echo chamber and the parrot of the PNM wicked narrative. So we're not getting chained up with that. How are they going to fix all these problems if they have presented not a single plan? Not a plan, not a policy. How is stealing a building in Germany going to fix all these problems in Trinidad and Tobago? How? 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 How is it? They're talking about building headquarters. They don't have a single idea or plan. They had to go on the internet and thief the building. Look on the screen. That is in Germany, not Trinidad and Tobago. Thief a building, boy. How somebody could thief a whole building? And then you're thiefing it from overseas. These fellas really bold faced. They're really bold faced. So how will that fix the problems here? <laughs> yes, yes, Melville, yes. <laughs> they are hurling abuse at our loyal membership. Oh, that is where they went across. I think they went to Germany or they went in their dreams to cut the ribbon <laughs> to, open, to open, <laughs> open this building in Germany. Check it out. You see them? They can't open one thing in Trinidad. They go in Germany. Imaginary building in their dreams. Let's move along. And so here we are now on serious matters. Well, I was put to so much abuse over the last few days. Since I produced this cabinet note, Friday in Parliament, right? I told them I have it, you know. Don't ask for it, you know, I have it. I have the documentary evidence. PNM cabinet note 1032, May 21, 2024. This is the cabinet of the Keith Rowley government. Cabinet note went before the cabinet. So I raised it in um, Parliament on Friday, and Rowley get up and say every kind of, I wouldn't want to repeat those words. They are not worth repeating. In fact, he was so offensive. Let's get the right word, offensive. When he continued, I just got up and walked out. I'm not going to sit down there and listen to him with his nonsense and foolishness. So he berated me in the Parliament, Kamala don't know what she's talking about. Kamala don't know this. Kamala don't know that. Up to today, he had a press conference to say, night. they went from first. A document did not exist to show they were coming for VAT. They were coming for income tax. They were coming the overdraft. They increased the overdraft to borrow more. All these taxes, more taxes to get more revenue. First, document don't exist. I told them in Parliament, but Imbert and Rowley, be careful. What you ask for, you will get it. I have the document. So I give them, let them run their run. And the next day, I brought it to show the proof and the evidence. That is your document, Mr. Rowley and Ms. Imbert. In fact, it is Imbert's document because this is what they call a Ministry of Finance document. Mervyn, you remember them, these cabinet things. Ministry of Finance. Is Imbert carried this note to the cabinet and then come in to say, Kamla don't know what, Kamla don't know, Kamla this, Kamla that. I think they love my name. I love my name too. Do you love my name? I love my name too. So Kamla, Kamla, Kamla. Opposition, opposition, opposition. I feel these fellas don't sleep in the night, you know. I think they, their brain, they're renting, my, my name is renting space in their brain. So they're so obsessed or possessed. <laughs> they probably can't sleep in the night. So they're not talking about this. The other state wouldn't talk about this. And Munilal told you, on the other Friday in Parliament, we are there. Five of them sit down there like muk. 
like muck. Not one got up. This is a major debate. Government coming for 2.3 billion more dollars. And you say you are MP and say nobody wants you to let you talk. Nobody has to let you talk. What do we do? You do this. What do you do? You put your hand up. And if the speaker don't see your hand, you say, Madam Speaker. But they sit down like muck. They didn't lift a hand or a voice. Come and come for $2.3 billion more. Five of them there in that parliament. All five were there, Chief Whip? They were all there? Yes, remember, all five were there. Last time, only four were there when, when the four brick vision left. Five, all five there. Not one of them get up to talk about this. $2.3 billion. And they're still not talking about it. So I was telling you, Rowley and Imber, they start off, the document does not exist. Well, here it is, in writing. Black on white paper. It exists. It is there. This is real. This is not makeup business. This is real. Then for the move from saying, this is the PNM now, that the document doesn't exist. When we show them, we give it out, put it out on the social media. They then come and say, well, no. They agree that the document exists now, saying they want to raise VAT and they want to raise tax and blah, 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 blah. They say, okay, well, yes, all right, yes. But we didn't discuss it. They did not discuss it. Then they go on from they did not discuss it to say, well, no, it is at a later date. Let me tell you what this says. Huh? It says, page 23, paragraph 47. I'm quoting. As a consequence, consequence of what? Getting this 2.3 billion more. As a consequence, further revenue generating measures are under consideration and may be instituted at a later date. Appendix 4 refers. And the Appendix 4, I think Kevin is putting up, I hope, on the screen will show us the increase. They want to increase VAT. Increase the tax, 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 and borrow, borrow, borrow. That's what they want to do. So the other team, they're not talking about Appendix 4. They're not talking about VAT increase. They're not talking about income tax increase, corporation tax increase, business levy increase, BIR fines increase, bank taxes increase, energy taxes increase, electricity rates increase, presumptive tax introduction. Remember again, as I say, all these taxes. Rowley said there is no such document. We produced it. Then Imbert says, yes, the document is real. Then Camille said, they never discussed it. Rowley knows about the tax increases because the note was discussed in that cabinet unapproved. The most important part is that line at paragraph 47. As a consequence, further revenue generating measures are under consideration. Rowley must tell the country, what is the later date that they're considering? Is it after the general election? So we catch them. We catch them wanting to increase all these taxes, so they back back. They back back. And you said the opposition don't work well. Give your opposition a round of applause. You would never have known if we didn't raise it. So he's saying now, later date, when? The government has been caught. Imbert rattled in the parliament. He was fumbling and bumbling and mumbling. And, and one of them so foolish. Imbert come to talk about Henry Hub. I think Kevin got to tell us about Henry Hub. So I said, this man coming to blame Henry Hub. <coughs> and then they say, well, once again, come, the opposition doesn't know. Henry Hub is the price, I know that. <coughs> and the prices have dropped. So I told Mr. Imbert, <laughs> he was blaming, blaming Mr. Henry Hub. And he was just hobbling along. He could ba barely speak. His voice was the lowest. When you know Imbert, you know he liked to ramache and do a JJ, you know up in the air. He was so soft that day. 
<laughs> because the numbers are so deadly for the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. So I said, you must tell us about these matters because you are already having difficulty in affording a proper livelihood in your homes. You already have difficulty, fathers going out to work. They can't bring a proper wage to put food on the table for their wife, for their family, for their children. And they're talking about increasing more taxes on you, VAT on your food increasing. <coughs> and nobody from the other slate talks about that. Every time I speak to you, I battle the PNM. <coughs> Every time this wicked government, we battle them. We fight, Star Team, we fight every day. You fight as UNC every day. We fight the PNM. The UNC membership has always been treated with respect. I have no tolerance for anyone who disrespects our great party and our beloved membership. I love and respect my party. And I tell you, as you say with me, I am UNC. I am UNC and I am proud. We are UNC. We are UNC and we are proud. <coughs> so if the camera could give me a second to have some water, please. Let's give Melvin and his family a round of applause. Thank you very much. So, whilst the other team is abusing and insulting you, I wonder if you could do that before an election, how much worse it will be after the election, remember that. They have no love, they have no loyalty for you. Their behavior is that steeped in selfishness. After this internal election, mark my words, <clears throat> you may see many of them where? On the PNM platform. But going back home, going back home for the next general. Remember the last local where persons collected checks to jump to the PNM? You all remember? We had put the, uh, the media printed. Are we having a star? What is that? System. Huh? Some patience. Testing. Can you hear me? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm saying, remember last um, local government, they gave people checks. I don't even know, do you ever see those people again? They've just disappeared. One was a UNC councillor, down in San Fernando, was it? Valiana, somewhere in San Fernando. He gone, I never see him again, you never hear him again. One was used to be something in the UNC. Well, that was a check appeared on the front page of some newspaper PNM gave him. And then there was another one who jumped across the next side. Have you ever seen him again? In that last election, they buy out people. They buy you out people. Remember those, I'm saying, some of these persons fighting the UNC now, we may well see them jump onto a PNM platform. So I'm saying, as I close, the UNC is a party built from the ground up. Built from the ground up. Those who have been in this party long enough, you know that. The candidates on the star slate have called the names for you. All have served in various capacities. They have labored in the background. They paid their dues. They put in the hard, committed work. They have remained focused and loyal to the UNC. Your star team supports stand your ground laws, remember that? Your star team supports legal firearms to law abiding citizens. Your star team supports policies which will put more money into your pockets and your purses. 
Your star team has a comprehensive job creation plan. Your star team has presented over 120 policies and plans to restore law and order and to secure your economic future. The other slate has not presented a single plan or policy to improve your life. And now they're claiming taking, want to take ownership of the star team plans and policies. We've shown you the clip already of the building. That's the only plan they have. No member on the other slate contributed to a single plan or policy of the UNC. The only promise is they plagiarize a building from Germany. So first, they sabotage the UNC and the local government. They sabotage the president's vote. They lied about the UNC postponing NATEX elections. Then they betrayed the UNC in the parliament again in the vote for the Auditor General's report debate. Then they lied about colluding with outside groups and PNM operatives. Um, Dave, there's a man down in your constituent, Mr. Tanku, holding meetings in a rum shop every day. He is not a member of the UNC. He's holding meetings in Ashanti with the other team in a rum shop. And he cannot even cast a vote. So they have the PLM operatives among them. <clears throat> now they're trying to steal the star team's plans and policies. That is the history. As a loyal and faithful member of the UNC, I urge you, come out, secure your future, secure your party, vote for the star team on Saturday. We are UNC and we are proud. Those on the other team can never be UNC and proud. If they insult their own activists and counselors, they can never be UNC and proud. If they're out there saying the membership has no integrity, they can never be UNC and proud. If they're all over the place calling rank and file members, cowards, bobolies, thieves, they can never be UNC and proud. I say we are UNC and proud. I've shared with you plans and policies. I say vote for your UNC candidate in the upcoming two by elections. Vote for Nicole Gopal and Sarah Sukdale as UNC candidates. On Saturday, vote the star team. We must never become complacent. That lengua Indian war seat was lost by one vote. Every single vote counts. It was our vote. It was a UNC vote that the EBC disallowed when it was clear that the X was for the UNC candidate. Every vote counts. So when you vote on Saturday, every vote counts. Don't spoil your ballot. And when you vote on Monday, every single vote counts. Vote against the PNM and PNM operatives. Vote against Rowley and his PNM and the agents because you will no longer watch your children and loved ones be sitting ducks in your homes to brutal, murderous killers by Rowley plays golf wherever he is. I think what's moving up, as Sam told me, you told me Rowley was a beach bum, but you've been proven correct. He's somewhere always golfing. Take a stance against them. Stand your ground on Saturday. Take back your country from the jaws of hell that Raleigh and the PNM have placed us in. I ask you, vote for the stars. Vote for the UNC on Monday thereafter. And continue to support your great party so that we can all have a better future for ourselves and for our children. I want to say thank you. God bless. Please reach home safely. And this is our last blast on the Star Team slate. Let me remind you, you have had leaders before me. Yes, you will have leaders, but after me. But you will never ever have a leader who loves you as much as I do. I thank you and God bless you all.
wait to introduce. Let me welcome my sister Raquel Ghani and my brother Nazimu Mohamed. Thank you very much. To continue to introduce the constellation of stars who will be the ones who will ensure that we travel to that area in, in government to be led by our wonderfully big-hearted individual, the Honorable Kamla Pasad Bisesa. The first candidate I will introduce before entering politics, active politics, he served four years in, in the foreign affairs, in the foreign service. The Peppermount MP in the parliament served Princess Tongue people and served as central coordinator from 2022 to 2024. Shadow Minister of Public Utilities. Holds bachelor's in government and IR postgrad degree in communication, diploma in law. Continue to let it resoundingly bring on MP Barry Padara. The next person I have the honor and privilege to bring in has served the UNC for over 25 years as campaign manager in the Tunapuna constituency. Has served as the chairman of NIPDEC and has been involved in global business for over three decades. Holds a bachelor's degree in history and social sciences from the University of the West Indies, as well as a degree in theology from the United States. Raise your hands and sound to give the support to Hamlin Jailal, who is a major part of the star team. The last person I have to introduce before my sister Raquel Ghani comes on was a former General Secretary from 2012 to 2022, former Chief Economist to the Leader of the Opposition, Member of Parliament for Oropuch West, served as Chairman from 2020 to present, a qualified Senior Economist, a qualified Attorney at Law. Please rise up and give a round of applause for one of the big stars on the star slate. MP Devindranath Tanko. Honorable political leader, all protocols of Zoom. It's my honor to present to you tonight our deputy political leaders that is on the star sleep. Tonight, I would like to introduce a person who has over 30 years in the corporate world and finance sector with significant experience having worked in the Central Bank of TNT for over 15 years. Former Chairman of the United National Congress between the years 2015 to 2017, served as Deputy, Deputy Political Leader since 2017, our Member of Parliament for Point of Pierre, Dr. David Lee. <laughs> Following him is former Deputy Leader of the UNC, our first youth, youth officer, former Minister of Housing and Leader of Government Business in Parliament, Member of Parliament for Orpooch East, Dr. Rudal Munilal, the lion himself. And it is my honor to present here tonight a wonderful sister from Tobago, living in Trinidad. She got vibe. She is the coordinator of La Hakata Talparo, our, our own Jolene John. She is a dynamic firebrand senator representing our great party in the upper house and fought for the Lahokita Talparo seat in the constituency for 2020. She will bring it home in 2025. She's a chartered accountant, certified professional accountant, and certified management accountant. I present to you our full star team. Please grace us on the stage. So, on Saturday, 15th, Saturday coming, 
place your ex next to the stars, all 17 stars. leader of the UNC, Kamala Bissad Bissessa, urging you to come out on Saturday, June 15th to cast your votes for the STAR team. Your STAR team supports stand your ground laws. Your STAR team supports legal firearms for law-abiding citizens. Your STAR team supports policies that put more money into your pockets. Your STAR team has a comprehensive job creation plan. Your STAR team has presented over 120 policies and plans to restore law and order and secure your economic future. Those are the facts. As loyal and faithful members of the UNC, I urge you to come out and secure your future and vote for the STAR team on Saturday, June 15, 2024. This Saturday, come out and vote for the STARS. We are UNC and we are proud. Yeah. 
And when the help of God you will get 